Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to clean a pool with one of these robotic pool cleaners. This particular cleaner is the Aper Smart Pool Cleaner. It comes with a charging cord, instructions, screws and rubber flappers, a hook, a plastic handle, and the pool cleaning unit itself. First put the handle into the rectangular holes. Then you'll see one side doesn't allow the screw to go in, but the other side does. Screw it in that side. Same with the other side. It won't go in one side, but it will the other. Screw it in there. Then the handle should be attached so that you can lift it up. Next, we're gonna attach the rubber flappers for the bottom. Those should just snap into place. Now plug the charger into the bottom of the cleaner and into the wall. It will go from red to green once it is fully charged. We just recently set up this pool and as you can see, it is already dirty. After we do the initial cleaning, we're gonna test some other things like this sand. Oh gosh, this is just a plant. You see that? I'm glad I got that on video and some green stuff from the bottom of a lake and some hair. After you submerse it in the water, let all the air bubbles get out, then hold down the red button for a few seconds until it turns on, then gently let it go. The way the cleaner works is that when the handle is tipped over from the movement through the water, it continues in one direction. When it bumps into the wall, the handle moves to an upright position, signaling to the cleaner to move in the other direction. The positioning of the wheels move the direction of the cleaner so that it will, over time, clean the entire pool bottom. Another thing to note is that two of the wheels have letters next to them. Those wheels can be popped out and then spun around for different cleaning patterns. It's not that big a deal, but sometimes it'll hit a wrinkle and won't go quite as straight. And every once in a while, if the wrinkle is too big, it might get stuck. You just have to lift it up and set it down again. Well, it's been running for about 15 minutes, and you can see that it's actually done a real decent job of cleaning off the bottom. I'm going to take it out of the water and show you what it's picked up. So we're going to unsnap all four of these. and you can see what it is picked up. We're gonna clean out the filter screen and the bottom with the hose. Then put the filter screen back in place and line up the little knob with the hole and snap it back into place. Let's see how it does at picking up hair. Looks like you got it. Ugh. Sucked up the hair. Pretty nasty. I think we should probably clean it out again. Now the green stuff from the lake. So you can see, it uh, definitely picked it up. If you get tired of reaching in and pulling out the pool cleaner with your hand, it comes with one of these hooks to attach to the end of a pole to pull it out. I don't have a pool cleaner pole, so I'm gonna pop this white insert out and just put in a metal pole that I have. Let's see how it does with sand.
As you can see, there's some good coverage of sand. As it's cleaning, click on the link in the description below to buy one of these pool cleaners. Looks like it's about halfway clean. It's been running for about 10 minutes. Let's check to see how much sand it has collected. It is quite a bit heavier. Wow. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a lot of sand in here already. That's probably why it's getting caught on the wrinkles, is because this is so, so much sand in here. It's significantly heavier. All right, I'm gonna have to clean that out. And let's go pick up some more sand. You're gonna notice that it's gonna get hung up on the wrinkles a little bit more the more sand it has because of how heavy it gets. As you can see, there's already a significant amount of sand that has been removed. Again, it's got a large, large amounts of sand in it. So we're gonna empty it again. It's getting a little dark. It has been running for 45 minutes and the pool is pretty much clean. Click on the link below to buy one of these pool cleaners and make sure to subscribe and watch more Minnesota cold and how-to videos of ours.